March is a time to celebrate women's history and basketball. March Madness coming at the same time. A first of its kind Hall of Fame, and we have it right here, celebrates both every day of the year here in town. Jared Austin has more. You got to spend quite a bit of time at the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. The home for the best in women's basketball is here in Knoxville. This is where it belongs. The Women's Basketball Hall of Fame built in Knoxville back in 1999 after a big push from Lady Vol head coach Pat Summit and former athletic director Joan Cronin. Coach Summit and I said, well, why not Knoxville? And so we all got busy, raised some money. The city and the county have been so supportive, and it's a wonderful facility. It honors nearly 200 influential people in women's basketball, from players to coaches, even some referees. It's the big names, but it's also the, the names that you don't hear often. He also showed the history of how the game has grown, old school uniforms with new ones, even the original car driven by the All-American Redheads. The way I describe the All-American Redheads is they're kind of like the female Harlem Globetrotters. The trophy all of the inductees get has three women on it. It's a push to honor the past, celebrate the present, and promote the future. Mainly, it's a way to preserve a historic time in women's athletics and particularly women's basketball. Pretty cool place, isn't it, Jared? Jared got to spend a bit of time there. March, a big month there at the Hall of Fame, but so is April. Yeah, April 27th is even a bigger date when they'll induct seven more women into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. That'll all be hosted at the Tennessee Theater. It's a great thing that a lot of folks are proud of around here. Jared, appreciate it.